Hello and welcome to this video on Power BI. In this video, let us take a look at how we can bring the data from SQL Server into Power BI. As you can see from the screen, there is an option directly to import data from SQL Server present here. Similar options are present here as well. You have a SQL Server option here. Similarly, clicking on the Get Data drop-down gives you another place where you can import the data or connect to SQL Server from here. So once you click on the transform data, you go into Power Query where again you will see an option to connect to SQL Server. So for the sake of this demo, I'm going to click on this option where I can import data from SQL Server. So this is going to open a window where it needs to specify, it needs to be specified a server name, database name. And you, you can also specify whether you want the data to be imported or it is going to be a direct query connection. And there is also a place where you can specify the SQL statement that you want to use for putting in the data. So in this case, I'm going to give my server name and I'm just going to give on OK. So it is going to go and ask for the type of uh, authentication that I'm going to use. We will have three types of authentication. One is the basic Windows authentication. If you are having a SA username and password or admin username and password, you can use the database authentication. And if you are having a Microsoft account, you can uh, use this type of authentication as well. So the moment I click on connect, it is going to connect to the SQL Server. So it is going to show me all the databases that I'm having in my uh, SQL Server. And the moment I open this, so this is the Adventure Works TW2 2019 uh, database. So here it is going to show me all the views, all the tables and all the functions present in my database. So these three are the user defined functions and uh, these are all the tables and uh, these five, six, yeah, these, these five are the views present in my uh, database. So for the purpose of, of this demo, I'm going to select dim product, product category, subcategory and fact internet sales. These are the four tables that I'm going to load it into our VA. So now that the data is loaded, you will start seeing all these tables in the data section. So once this is done, all your data, since we are using an import mode, all your data has been brought inside Power BI and you can start building your visuals directly. So uh, one important thing that we can notice here is uh, we have imported these four tables. I'm going into the model view. And as you see here, any relation that is specified inside the database is also going to be imported. So there is a setting which you can enable or disable to, uh, to control this. But by default, as you can see, uh, the relationship that has been specified in the database is imported along with the data. Now that you go and build your report, it is going to be very instantaneous. So I'm going to just bring the English product category information. Then I'm, I'll bring the English product subcategory. Then English product name. And I'm going to bring in the sales info. Let me bring in the sales amount. So I'll change it into a table. So this is going to give me a view like this. So this is the example of an import mode. So let's say that I don't want an import mode. What I can do is I can just click on SQL Server again, um, go here, uh, put my server details and here I can just type in my database name. Again, this is optional. I can use import or direct query. Let me show you direct query here. And I can also directly type in my SQL query to bring in the data. And you can have any SQL query here. So in this case, I'm just having a simple select statement. So include relationship columns. You can disable this or enable this. So I'll keep this enabled. And I'm going to click on OK. Now this table is going to be connected using a direct query. So now that uh, this internet sales is a uh, fact internet sales is getting imported with the name of query one uh, as an as a direct query connect. 
I'll go to the model view to show how it is going to be different. So as you see here, the imported tables are uh, displayed with a gray uh, pattern while uh, the direct query table is shown with a blue line on top of it, indicating that it is a direct query. So uh, like this, you can connect to SQL Server using multiple options. Uh, now in, the, in, in case of both of these, the building of report is very straightforward. You can directly go and start building your report.